Hey signers, you've probably heard me say how ASL is not English. Well, a component that makes ASL vastly different from English is the extensive use of classifiers. What are classifiers exactly? Well, in this video, I will teach you the basics of classifiers along with examples. So let's learn how to sign classifiers. First, what is a classifier? A classifier is a hand shape that represents an object, the size or shape of that object, and even its usage. According to the Signing Naturally curriculum, it's divided into eight classes. Semantic classifiers, descriptive classifiers, instrument classifiers, element classifiers, locative classifiers, body classifiers, body part classifiers, and plural classifiers. I am going to focus on classifiers in the areas of a thing, how a classifier can show a shape and a size, and how a classifier is used. First, let's start with things. This is a representation of objects, people, and animals. It's important to indicate what the classifier is before using it. So for example, if we have the classifier one, this right here, can represent a person. But we don't know who this person is if we don't set up who this person is before. So if I wanted to say, I have now said this person right here is a man, all right? So this is representing a man now. Later on, I'll teach you how you can make usage of this classifier one. Another popular classifier is the classifier three on its side. This is going to represent a vehicle, maybe in the form of a car or a motorcycle or a bus. It can even represent something like a boat or a submarine. This right here can be maneuvered in different ways that you'll see whenever I talk about usage. Another classifier is the classifier two. This two can represent two people, but if you turn it upside down, it can represent a person's legs. As you can see from these few classifiers, they're representing what the object is. As we continue on, we'll describe a little bit more about that object or about how that object can be moved. This next category is focusing on shapes and sizes. And for this, it's really focusing on description. This can show the outline or perimeter of something along with the description of the volume of something or how large or small it is. This category can get quite extensive. So here are a few ideas of what can all be represented. All right, remember that classifier one that we just talked about? Well, this classifier one can be used with both of our hands to show the shape of a board on a wall or a picture. As you can see, I can change the size of it. This is showing a shape or a size. Another classifier that might be used is the shape of the B. And sometimes you'll see it like this. And this could be making the shape of a box, whether it's or it's showing the different shape and the size of a box. With size and shape classifiers, you will notice a lot of mouth morphemes being used. Just like I showed you before, something small, something big, to something medium. Another thing that you can do with classifiers is to show a description about maybe the clothing. You could use the number four classifier to show stripes on a shirt or the letter G classifier showing a stripe down the arm of a shirt. These all are showing different shapes and sizes of things that you see around or on somebody's clothing. And this can go even further into more describing. Now let's talk about the usage of classifiers. You can have a classifier be represented in the form of movement or classifiers interacting with each other. In the well-known video of the gum story, it uses the entrances and exits of this classifier one, but you can see how it's varying in the representation of each person that they're talking about. For instance, it might be talking about the little boy or an older man, 
or a very well-to-do lady. Each time the classifier one is used, but what you'll notice is the movement of how I'm moving that classifier along with my mannerisms to go with it. If you don't know the gum story, go and look it up. It's a great representation of using classifiers and mannerisms in ASL. Remember that classifier three that represented a vehicle? Well, this classifier three can be moving in different ways to show how a car would move. Maybe the car is driving through the road. Maybe it is racing another car, or maybe it got in a collision. This classifier three can represent so many different ways a car or a vehicle can maneuver. There are so many different forms of classifiers that can be incorporated within usage. We have made a list of varying classifiers down below. Go and check them out and see how each of them can be represented. Now that you've seen the basics of classifiers, go and see all the ways that they are already used in ASL conversations and stories. There are many more types and ways to use them. So if you want to learn more, let me know down in the comments. And until next time, keep learning how to sign.